This is for the Patreon. Here, here's the thing. Um, the Spider-Man, right? Yeah. You're saying 14-year-old? I'm saying a teenage kid gets bit by a spider, and he's smart enough to build his own web shooters. Yes. And web fluid. Yes. And nobody else on the planet can do it, and he's not smart enough to sell that. Yes. Patent. Oh, my God. You have to spend your disbelief. Yes. This is your baseline, right? There's a universe that exists where a person gets bitten by a radioactive spider. They don't get cancer and die. Instead, they get superpowers and can swing around. And they build this thing. So he's smart. They establish that he's smart. He builds this stuff. Has this fluid. Magically dissolves. Whatever. This is your baseline for the universe. Right. And then you add other stuff on top of that. And that's where you break the ground rules. Of like... I'm po- I'm constantly poor. Why don't I take some photos of myself instead of be a scientist, be an engineer, make some goddamn money? Yeah. He's an idiot. Yeah. He's Richard. Reed Richards. He's Reed, which Reed is, Richards. Reed Richards is another idiot. Which is why I loved when Dan Slott made him become Iron Man and everyone hated it. And I was like, no, it finally... He fi- like... It makes sense. And there was, I can't remember, was it like FF or 4-4? There was a Marvel Knights book where Reed lost all his money and they had to deal with the fact that he was dumb <laughs> because he lost, they lost all their money because they like whatever patents or what, I can't even remember. I want to say it was like Grant Morrison or somebody. That's pretty good. And it was awesome. Because yeah, there's, you have to suspend your disbelief that for me, <clears throat> reading a comic, Super and Runs Run Red Trunks, I never once go, oh, people would think that's weird. And then the moment they put him live action, they're like, oh, he can't have red trunks. And I'm kind of like, I kind of get it. And then they put out David Korn Sweet with red trunks. I'm like, it fucking is awesome. Why did, like, I bought, and I'm like, I totally bought Christopher Reeve the whole time. I never cared. It's, it's the execution as far as, like, translating you, comic into... If you tell me a good story, yes, my suspension of disbelief goes up because I'm not paying attention to all the details. If if I'm entertained, I care less about the details because I just watched um, Kong Godzilla. Yeah, and there's a ton of stupid shit in that, but it's entertaining, and I just like gloss over the fact that a bunch of it makes zero sense. Because it's entertaining. Yeah. But like, there's there's a, a formula that I haven't figured out, but I've been thinking about it recently. That's like, it's it's story, it's character, it's entertainment outweigh suspension of disbelief. And if it tips in the wrong direction, like, I said that I have a, a fragile suspension of disbelief. Once it's cracked, like oh, it's it's over. it's over. Yeah, I agree, hundred percent. That's why, that's why as soon as I walked into the Dark Knight Returns <laughs> and he bends that gun, I, I literally raised my hands up in the theater and was like, what are you doing? Bro, he's got a special glove on. That's what, like, they make a whole point of showing that hand grip. And then he cuts the door with the thing. It's, he's not doing it with his own strength. Superman can't do that. Superman can. Yeah, sure can. He can. The physics don't work like that if you're Batman. Okay. Oh, the physics. Well, now. You're watching a... See, this is suspension of disbelief, though. It's like you're watching a movie about a guy who dresses up as a bat. And I'm like, watching not around. a movie about a guy who dresses up as a bat. I'm watching a movie by Christopher Nolan who tells me this is the most realistic Batman you will ever see. We wanted everything as grounded and real. And, and the second movie is all... No, 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 no. This can't happen. You can't fall with another human an entire skyscraper and land on a car and live. He has the cape come out and slow him down. No. Yeah. Spider-Man has web fluid and slows her down and her neck snaps. Well, that's spider She falls yeah. onto a suit of armor onto a car. <laughs> yeah. She's dead. <laughs> nah. Yeah. It's at this police problem. <clears throat> Yeah, once it's broke, it's broke. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And so I went, why the hell? And then they're like, oh, yeah, he's got a mechanical thing. 
okay, remember in the first movie when they said he can't get shot, but now he can get stabbed? I'm like, what? <sighs> you guys are so dumb. I hate that movie so much. Wow. And the fact that everyone keeps defending it, Dan. I, I have my problems with it. I'm in the camp of I don't love it because my thing has always been it doesn't know when it should have ended. It should have ended with him capturing the Joker, or should have started with him. Well, you the Joker. you want to rewrite, reshoot the whole movie. I, I want to re-edit the movie and just end it like half an hour earlier, instead of have Two Face end with Joker in the boat. But if we're gonna reshoot it, I mean, fuck. But yeah, but why do you think you have such a fragile sense of discipline? I think my brain won't stop thinking. Unless you're super entertained? Or Unless I'm entertained. So I'm always... My brain just won't shut up. And so I'm... I'm picking at things. And like... So if, if, if I'm entertained, take like Furiosa. Yeah. Thoroughly enjoyed it. It could be nitpicked. I don't care. I'm not going to do it. Because I was entertained. And I'm like, this is fucking amazing. Show me more of just all of this. Yes. Please. Go see. The one problem I had, the one the one thing that stuck out to me is a couple of scenes were slightly sped up. Were just, I, I don't know. There's a couple of long shots. When, when she's got the car that doesn't have a fourth wheel. And she's driving out and there's, there's a long shot of sort of the... the carnage that has been happening for weeks this is after she builds her arm that shot you can see the people are moving jerkily because it's sped up and so people are just slightly unnatural and that's the kind of shit that I'm like somebody made a choice during editing to speed up certain scenes and I see it and it annoys me but then the next scene happens and I'm distracted again If it's a story or character element, I have a harder time turning it back off. Because I'm like, no, this is broken forever now. You've broken a character, you've broken the ground rules. But like, editing is not that bad. Chris Hemsworth clearly edited into backing up the gate crashing thing. Fine, whatever. I'll forget about that. It's fine, I'll forget. <laughs> but like, it didn't fundamentally break anything for me, like character or story wise. I'll just forgive that stuff. But characters and story, no. You get one one strike and you're out. I understand that so much. That's why Transformers <clears throat> Michael Bay will never work because it was out before I even saw it. You can't even get the characters right. The parents are annoying. There's far too many humans. Racism. Oof. They got Bumblebee wrong. <laughs> Here's what I hate. Like, I hate the push that's been going on for a couple of decades of Bumblebee. He's in He's in the Overwatch. And I'm just like, of course. Of course it's Optimus, Bumblebee, and RC. I don't know why. If it weren't RC, it would have been Windblade. Because of course. Windblade. But like, this push of Bumblebee, I never... The one time I gave a shit about Bumblebee, he was a hallucination ghost? Yeah, ghost And I'm like, I'm like, this is the best... <laughs> that is the best Bumblebee. Yeah. If he's a ghost. Walking around with a cane, right? Amazing. Yeah. The only time I cared about Bumblebee was when he was with Spike and Spike said shit. <laughs> oh, shit. That's the greatest moment. <laughs> 1986. Yeah. I saw in a Transformers movie. Holy crap. The, so cool. The one Transformers movie. Yeah. No. <clears throat> I I totally get the suspension of disbelief. But yeah. Any other nips you wanted to pick on that? Um, I just... How, how does it work in comics? Similarly. So like... So, like, you have a baseline of how you want a character to act, and if they step outside that, you just... I have never been, 
much of a follower of Fantastic Four. I have read when they've guest shot in other stuff. I've read some stuff when there's a high enough profile creator that I like that I jump in and jump out. But, like, I've seen Reed learn that he works too much and needs to, you know, focus on his family more than I care to see. Like, he just keeps repeating the same mistakes because a new writer comes along and they're like, I'm just going to retell this story again. I'm like, I don't care. Like, but that's the illusion of change. That is comics. Which, it's U.S. comics. Yeah, well, I'm in the U.S. There are other places where comics are told better. And yet, <clears throat> nobody wants to read Savage Dragon. Yeah, I can tell you why. It's too much cum. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. <laughs> Come back, come as you are. <laughs> oh man. I would probably enjoy Savage Dragon if I were to catch up on almost 300 issues. I didn't get into it in the 90s. I dropped comics multiple times during the broke years where I had no money. And one continuous story long for that long is daunting to me to think about. Like, I'm never going to read One Piece or Naruto. They're just too long. I'm never going to dig. I don't care how people, how good people say it is. I'm never going to do it. So we'll get you hooked on Spawn. Then. Oh, God. I tried. I tried at, like, 312 or something. I tried 300. He made some big marketing push about, hey, we're getting new writers in. And I'm like, great. If it's not Todd writing, I might care. And then I, I didn't. Sean Lewis here. Bear Pirate Viking Queen guy. Did that well. It was interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like popcorn, Wilson? Uh, at times. I like theater popcorn. I like the smell of popcorn more than I like the taste. I usually taste popcorn and I'm like, oh, I'm down. I miss popcorn because it all used to be better in movie theaters. It did. And then COVID happened and they all went to the discount brand. <laughs> like, I bet you if they had better popcorn, Christopher and I would find ways to go to more movies together because his favorite thing to do is eat like a pound of popcorn and watch a good movie and now he can't do that because popcorn is so terrible he gets sick are there good movies are there are there less good movies than there used to be no i feel like this is not a great year but there have been some high points and there's a couple that i haven't seen yet Boy Kills World, I'm waiting on. Goddamn. Oh, Cecil. <laughs> Cecil. Awesome. It oh. just seems, from my perspective, there's less, I don't have as much of a desire to go to a theater. Like, I don't have a burning need to go see certain things. I had a need to go see Furiosa. And it made it happen. But, like, Ghostbusters didn't care. See, I have I want to go see things in the theater because my number one complaint is watching things on a phone. Like <clears throat> my whole life was getting bigger TV. Yeah. And it was awesome. And then at some point phones started shrinking, everything started shrinking, and it's like, look at your phone can now fit in your fucking I used to pay attention to TV inches and I got I guess a big enough TV years ago because I don't even remember how big it is now. But like, it's big enough and I don't need anything bigger. Right. But. <clears throat> I'm not, I'm not going to watch movies on my phone though. But Furiosa and Dune 2, Stingaloo, <laughs> <laughs> were like two movies that I'm like, I have to see those on a big screen. I get, I get Dune. If you like Dune, I was bored by the first one. <clears throat> and 
I want to see the superhero movies I want to see, I want to see on the big screen. The problem is I don't want to see a lot of superhero movies anymore. Yes. There's not... I'm trying to remember what's coming out. Deadpool. Deadpool. I want to see on the big screen, but I like want to buy a theater and see it with myself. Because <laughs> I don't want to How big of a big screen if it comes to digital just come to my house and put face on but I don't want you to be there. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know that I, I didn't say I would be. I'm oh. just saying. I'm, well, the... Check off? <laughs> no, my problem with the two Deadpool movies, and they've the director of this one has already said you're going to need to see it multiple times, is I hate comic book people going, oh, oh, ah, ah. Yeah, but I'm not like that. That's part of the reason I don't like going to theaters anymore is the rest of the audience annoys me. But, like, when we went and saw King Kong, that wasn't an issue. When we went and saw Furiosa, it wasn't an issue. Oh, I think there were six people in our theater. The best time in my life was seeing Boy Meets World because it was just the four of us, and we were kids. Boy, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, But, yeah, I just, I hate crowds and superhero movies. Yeah, agreed. Let's talk about that Hellboy movie, huh? Huh? Uh, huh? Huh? fan-made film that they just released a trailer for. Yeah. Yeah. Mike Sorry, McNoll man. still hasn't acknowledged it. <laughs> he literally just had the 30th anniversary of Hellboy like well, and he festival was all, last week. And wasn't he out hard for it at first saying yeah. like, oh, didn't he write it or something? That's what it, that's, it says in the trailer from yeah. the creator. Yeah. I don't know how true that is. It looks like a horror movie that I wouldn't watch because I'm just not a horror movie fan but it, it looks like a horror movie yeah. I'm just I it's not one of the better Hellboy stories that I'm could have been adapted I'm told it is <laughs> I don't even remember if that's how good it is I just remember I wasn't the biggest fan of the Richard Corbin stuff when he was doing Hellboy now if, why can't they make him look like a Richard Corbin Hellboy I don't know be awesome. Just giant, weird. I don't, on the I don't think they got enough paint. <laughs> he looks a little thin. <sighs> I'll do it in post. Are you playing guitar to something I don't hear? Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's just in my head. Okay. I think. Alright. Star Wars. <laughs> Cut. Like, subscribe.